Welcome to The Boiling Point. I'm Richie Ware. This is Steven Taylor. We both got blue on. Hey, dude. Dang, I just thought of that. <laughs> yeah. All right, cool. And his new truck's blue. So hey. How about that? Kentucky fan. Yeah. And a motorcycle. Motorcycle, yeah. And a bass boat. And a bass boat. All blue. All blue. Oh, all right, cool. Well, hey, let's talk I bleed about- blue. Look at bleed blue. Yes, you do. <laughs> Let's talk about blowers and air actually in combustion. Mm -hmm. Obviously there is combustion that goes on into a, uh, a boiler, of course. But one thing we really haven't talked about is the fan and the blower. So what, why even do you need air in combustion? Uh, you know, if, if you start a, try to start a fire in a, in a closed chamber, you're not gonna get anything. Right. It, it won't start. You have to, like starting a fire, starting a kindling fire out in, in you know, it's a, a camping trip or a Boy Scout trip, whatever it is, if you don't blow on and get things going, get some air movement, you don't get anything. It'll smolder, nothing happens. Same thing here. I can open the gas valves up, we can put gas in there and, and light it, and it's gonna smolder a little bit, it's gonna go out. It, it, no oxygen, it's not gonna burn. So there's three primary purposes for the blower. First being, you have to have oxygen and volumetric air to mix with the fuel to get a get good combustion okay that's the that's the primary purpose of the blower uh -huh. but at the same time from a safety standpoint you have post purge and pre-purge so post purge the boiler sitting there running the it, it, it you no longer need a flame you've met your your limits you're going to shut down gas valve shut you, when it shuts off you have just a little bit of unburnt fuel from the mixture, you're changing mm -hmm. the mixture, you're shutting mm -hmm. the gas off, you still have air, you've got things going on. Right. And, and the other thing is if you have a gas valve leaking, from a code standpoint, you wanna have a certain number of air changes through the blower. So, so that blower size, the timing of size on the flame safeguard control, to run air through there with no flame, just to make sure you get all no, the unburnt no, gases no, sure. out the stack mm -hmm. and gone. Okay. Get ready to start back up, it's reverse. If, you ha if you're sitting there and it's dead, and for whatever reason you had a fuel valve that was leaking through, mm -hmm. leaking gas in there, you don't want to light a spark in there and put air in it because you're going to have a, a puff. You don't want any part of that. Right. So code says, okay, well, let's make sure we don't have that happen. Let's, before we ever put a spark in there, before we ever put gas in there, let's start the blower up and have that, those same number of air changes through the boiler so we make sure that if any gases are in there, hot refractory gases, whatever it is, that's all shoved outside. We know it's all clean. Now let's bring gas in, bring a pilot in, bring gas in, light it up. We know it's clean, we're gonna get a safe combustion. That's the three primary uh, deals that the blower is responsible for, combustion, post-purge, pre-purge. And basically the combustion management system is really monitoring. It's all monitoring of all of that stuff. It's going through it. You've got all that's programmed into that flame safe car control, the combustion management. This happens to be a, an auto flame system, um, but, but they're all, all controlled. The other thing about blowers, you know, this is a floor mount. Uh -huh. There's bunches of different configurations of right. blowers. They all have the same purpose, but they're all made, you know, specific to that burner, to that boiler assembly. It, it's all completely different. Now, as far as the blower itself, though, I mean, you know, you, you just don't put a fan on a burner. No, no, that's all sized by the burner manufacturer. The burner manufacturer says, I need this kind of pressure. That comes from the boiler manufacturer. The boiler manufacturer has to tell the burner manufacturer, here's what my furnace pressure drop's gonna be. Okay. The pressure drop through the furnace, through all the tubes. Right. This is what it's gonna be. The burner manufacturer tells the blower manufacturer, hey, here's what we have to have. I've got this much pressure drop through here, through the burner itself. I've got that much pressure drop through through the boiler. And then if you put an economizer on it, I've got that much pressure drop through the economizer. All of that has to be taken into to account when they size that blower to make sure they got they have enough air, but not too much to where now we're having to throttle that thing back all the time. So it's got to be sized right, and that's that's a very important calculation when sizing the, the configuration that you're putting together. When there's too much air, um, what what really happens there? If, if it goes way too much air, first your O2 is going to go up right. and your efficiency is going to go the other direction. O2 goes up, efficiency goes, goes down. Mm -hmm. So because all you're doing, you're, you're, that, the, the combustion needs to have residence time. And residence time means in order for me to get complete combustion, it has to stay in that chamber for a certain amount of time, mm -hmm. residence time. 
if you, if you increase the airflow, you cut that residence time down so you're no longer getting combustion, you're shoving those hot gases right out the stack before it could get a chance, trans, chance to transfer into the water to make steam or hot water, whatever you're making there. Right. So that, it's very critical that the blower is sized right and you keep those O2s down to get your efficiency where you need it to be. And probably the, the, the better efficiency is if you can run 3% across that firing range. 3% across the firing range is what Limsfields cut their teeth on, that, that from low fire to high fire, they run 3%. That's the, that's the, 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 the combustion you want. That's, mm -hmm. that's, that's the, 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 you know, the top um, place where you want to be is 3% right. top to bottom. That's the most efficient you want to be. Right. And, and that's, that's where they like to run. And it's, it, it's difficult for a lot of burners to do that, mm -hmm. but they're, they're, they're starting to come around. limsfield has been that way from, from day one. So they've, they've got a head of the game. Right. And the old style burners, of course, old style with combustion management, you really weren't monitoring all that air and you'd have no. all of this high O2 that would then create a much less efficient um, burner. So. Much less efficient. It's complete system. It was really highly inefficient because the burners weren't, the burners were designed to, to, to burn fuel. Burn, right. And, and you know, when, when um, diesel fuel was 20 cents a gallon, and they, they didn't care about it. When natural gas was, you know, 50 cents a cubic foot, they, they, they didn't care. They, right. they just ran it. Now that, that that's not the case, and on top of that, the emissions, everybody's emissions top of mind. Let's keep our emissions down. Let's be good, you know, stewards of, of, of our society, of, of mm -hmm. our uh, elements. And so it's, it's, it's made a big difference and everybody's coming around to it. They're, yeah. they're doing a good job. Yeah. So something so simple, simple as a, as a fan basically is really used it's, in a very technical it, business. It's very um, technical and it's extremely important that it's sized properly and then it's kept well maintained. You know, the, the other thing about a flan, fan, if you have a dirty environment, mm. this is not, I mean, this is, pristine. You're not going to yeah. have dirt cl collecting here. But a lot of boiler rooms have a lot of makeup air coming in, sawdust, uh, a feed mill where you have bean dust all the time. Mm -hmm. Well, that's sucking that stuff in outside. That blower is going to collect that stuff on there. Yeah. As it collects, the efficiency of that blower goes down. It keeps going down, keeps going down. You keep changing your combustion. You don't understand what's going on. Then you pull that apart and find out that those fans are like uh, your fan blade on, on your blower on your furnace at home. If you yeah. took the filter out, let it run. Right. Some people do that. Sure. Then before you know it, the, the, that squirrel cage is stopped completely up. You're not moving any air at all. Not moving any Same air. thing. Yeah. Same, same concept. I remember that carbon plant that we were at that, oh. uh, oh, that's a dirty environment. <laughs> oh, that's a dirty environment. That's awful. <laughs> I'd hate to see all the lungs out there. Yeah, no kidding. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, appreciate you hanging out with us, talking a little bit about the, the air and the blowers and fans, of course, on, on boilers. Uh, and we'll see you next time on The Boiling Point. Appreciate Stephen hanging out with us and talking a little bit about fans and air and combustion. And speaking of combustion, you know, when you're wanting to control the combustion and getting some good um, efficiency going, you obviously need a good combustion management system. Now we have our auto flame sales training um, coming up or auto flame training that's coming up in Chattanooga on uh, September the 19th and 20th. And then there'll be another one here in Louisville, Kentucky at the Boiler University, uh, September 23rd and 24th. And that's for all folks that are in our um, auto flame area, if you will. That's all that we can train. So um, it, you can go out and uh, give us a call on that and try to sign up for those classes. So really good classes, talk a little bit about efficiency and, and controlling the, the fuel and air mixture. So like us on Facebook and follow us on Twitter. And if you don't mind, subscribe to the YouTube channel. And as always, if you love our videos, we'd appreciate you sharing them. We'll see you next time on The Boiling Point.